hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. Tell me what to do. Welcome guys and today I'm going to teach you how to merge using modified IHS resolution merge in Eridas. So I have kept the Eridas Imagine 2013 already open for you guys. So let's go ahead. So as you know in Eridas we don't need any image on the workspace. So I would go ahead and click on the raster tab. So usually your home tab would be opened, but we'll go here and click on the raster tab. In that, we will go in pan sharpen. And, you know, pan sharpening is used for increasing the resolution of the images using high resolution pan chromatic images with multispectral. So let's click on that. And here we go with the modified IHS resolution merge. Once you click on that, a window would open up. Here we are. So in this, there are three tabs. In the input tab, we would go and click on the high resolution input file. Click on that and select the panchromatic image. So for this, I would be using a Lancet 8 image and band 8. After you select this, go to the multi-spectral multi input file. This would be the one which can be combined or layer stacked into many. So I have a file called layer stack and it has six images stacked in it. And then everything remains as it is. I'll go to the layer selection. There I'll go and go for a false natural color. I'll leave everything as it is. The computation methods should be single pass, three layers RGB. Everything should be remain as it is. Then the next tab we'll go is output tab. So in this, we have to select where we want to save our output. And for that, you can go ahead, click on this. So I usually go in my C drive and I have a folder called Erdas in which I have a folder called output and I'll name it as modified Mm, IHS merge and this file should be of the type imagine image dot img file so I'll go ahead and click on OK everything remains as it is just go ahead and click on OK so there would be a progress bar and this will be taking a long time so there would be a couple of steps which are running. They would run and this will be a long process. So I would go ahead and wait till the process is completed. Since the process will take a long time to complete, I have already combined one image and kept it ready for you guys. So I'll go ahead and open that. But you have to wait till there would be like five to six, seven progress bar would finish and none would be there in the progress you can close and go ahead and open that but I do have a test file ready for you so when you are done click on this open button go to the path where you have saved your files as I said my and C drive here it is in the output folder and I have the file name called test one which I have previously created so I'll go ahead and click OK and you can see on the left, the test image is right here. I'll just go to my home tab, click on fit to the frame so that it is clearly visible. And here we are. So now if you want to zoom and check, go ahead and zoom on this. Click on a select a particular part and see. So this is how the image would look. And go again and click on fit to frame. Here we are. So this is how your image should look. Thank you for watching the video and hope you like it. Please share, subscribe and comment. Thank you.